Hello, it's Doris with All the Books, and I am here with a little book haul for you, mostly for Black History Month. However, this first one was for my Middle Eastern reads, and it was just on back order or something and came a little late. Uh, Horace Walks Into a Bar by David Grossman. This one won the Man Booker International last year, and it's gorgeous. <laughs> I believe this is about a, an Israeli comedian, and it's supposed to be pretty hard-hitting, I think. Um, and then for Black History Month, I have The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. This is a nonfiction read about a woman whose cells were used without her knowledge or her family and are still used today. Um, I've been really interested in this one for a couple, three years now, so looking forward to this one. And then The Darkest Child by Dolores Phillips. This was recommended to me by Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings. And I don't know why, but I think this one's going to be really, really impactful. Um, but this is set in Georgia in the 1950s. And I think it's a mother-daughter um, tale. And then I have... The Book of Harlan by Bernice L. McFadden. This one was recommended by Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading. And this, I think, is a story of this man's life um, starting at the turn of the century with his parents meeting. And he was born in 1917, also in Georgia, um, but ends up moving to Harlem and getting into the music scene. And he and a friend get asked to... Uh, perform in Paris, France, and end up being um, sent to concentration camp, a concentration camp during World War II. So, very interested to read this one as well. And then I got, I've been interested in trying to pick up an Attica lock, and I got Bluebird Bluebird. This one is um, a Texas Ranger, so a mystery. And then. We Were Eight Years in Power by Ta-Nehisi Coates. I definitely have been looking forward to this one. It's been on my must-read list for most of last year whenever I started seeing it pop up anyway. So definitely going to be picking this one up very soon in the month. And then um, I had the urge to go to Goodwill because I figured people would, you know, be purging in January. And they didn't seem to have. It was slim pickings, but I, that didn't keep me from finding things. <laughs> so I grabbed The Winter of Our Discontent by Steinbeck to go with my Steinbeck collection. I got Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. Um, I see these Hunger Game books pop up all the time everywhere. And I really like this trilogy, so I thought I would get myself a series as I see them. So I've already read that. Um, and then I found another Lisa C. <laughs> Shanghai Girls. Um, and I need to read some of these this summer. I think I have five of her novels, and I've only read one thus far. So they seem like really nice summer reads, so got to get to that. And then this one I'm stoked about, uh, We Are Never Meeting in Real Life by Samantha Kirby. I saw this on Kendra Winchester's channel, and you know, cat irresistible. <laughs> um, and this is a memoir, and it is reviewed as hysterical, honest, and authentic by Jenny Lawson of Furiously Happy Fame, and you know I love her. Um, Rainbow Rowell says, this book didn't make me laugh out loud. It made me laugh silently, wheezing and crying until my sides ached. So, looking forward to this one. And it's written by, I said it's Samantha Irby, but this one will fit into my Black History Month reads as well. So, I was really excited to find that out. And then, I had an impulse buy. Um, I got a Cotter Witch by Nettie Okorafor. And this is a middle grades um, YA fantasy. And I grabbed this last minute because I've been reading a lot of YA middle grades fantasy that's very diverse and like I'm so happy with the genre at the moment that they're doing such great fantasy work um, and adding such excellent diversity um, 
So yeah, I just wanted to continue with that vein. And then the last two are from Book Depository, and I finally own Toni Morrison. So I got The Bluest Eye and Tar Baby. I just love these covers. Um, and I got The Bluest Eye. This is her for first novel. And then Tar Baby is going to be a readathon with hashtag Read Soul Lit with Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading. So in the month of February for Black History Month. And also, I got the coveted Alice in Wonderland bookmark. I've been seeing a few people get it from Book Depository now that they're not doing the color coloring in ones. And yeah, I'm thrilled. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I will be back soon. Bye. Oopsie.